Hey there, home athletes. Happy Friday. As you may or may not know, uh, the gyms, us gyms, have been allowed to reopen again to a limited capacity, right? We can have classes of up to six people these days, which unfortunately, for those of you who have been joining uh, me for Zoom, I cannot uh, do Zoom classes anymore because I have to be here at the gym coaching in person, if that makes sense. Um, just because the classes are so small, I actually need to coach more classes to, in order to accommodate uh, people coming in. So, sorry about that, but no more Zoom as of today. I will continue to post at-home workouts and these instructional videos as well. Uh, you can, uh, as far as I know, hold on to the things you have borrowed or may have borrowed from the gym. Talk to Susie about that. I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's okay. Um, but. We'll find out about that later. More details to come, but as of today, no more Zoom classes. Long story, kind of long. Sorry about that. Anyway, today's workout. Got a good one for you today. This is a 13-minute AMRAP. Ride as many rounds and reps as possible in 13 minutes. This is based off of a CrossFit open workout that we did back in 2016. Now, as you can see, those numbers are high, right? It is 55 deadlifts, 55 goblet squats, 55 shuttle runs, and 55 uh, dumbbell push press. Now, I'll tell you right off the bat, I don't really expect you to finish one round of this. Hardly anybody will, even the at-gym version of this. It's designed to get through the deadlifts, the squats, Try to get as many shuttle runs as you can and maybe get into starting the push press. So have, keep that in mind as you're going. Like, you know, if you're working through a workout and you're like, there is no way I'm gonna get through more than one round of this. If you can even finish a round of this, you'll be going, you're gonna really be hustling. I mean, potentially you could, if you're really cranking out the reps, you could finish a round and maybe get back to the deadlifts, but keep that in mind. I mean, yeah, here, yeah, it, maybe you can. Maybe with the lighter, I mean, I guess I'm thinking about the heavier. Anyway, I'm talking a lot. Anyway, so yeah, 55 of each one. And these, you know, you can't break these up. You can't mix and match. You got to do actually have to do 55 deadlifts. And then you do 55 goblet squats and see what you can do. Work hard, work fast. It's only 13 minutes. So going through the movements real quick. Deadlifts. We are going to use two dumbbells. What do you have right there? Remember, this is a hip hinge, right? It's all revolves around the hips going back hips going forward and pushing those feet into the ground, right? Think of the deadlift as a push, not a pull, right? We're not pulling those weights off the ground. We're actually getting those weights off the ground by pushing with our legs, right? Make sure that whole foot is flat on the floor, toes, heels, everything else. Keep that belly tight, keep that back flat. Hinge at the hips, tap the floor at the bottom, stand all the way up. And at the bottom, of course, keep those bells pointing down. We only have to touch that bottom bell to the floor. So we're going 55 reps. Right. It's going to light up those glutes and those hamstrings for you. Tap to the bottom, 55 reps. Obviously, you'll probably have to take a break or two in there. That's totally fine. Then we have goblet squats. We'll put one dumbbell down. Don't need that. We'll hold the other dumbbell underneath the chin. Let's keep those elbows in tight so the elbows do not run into the knees at the bottom. Set those feet a little bit wider than your deadlift, of course. Heels are about shoulder width apart. Um, we are always Gently pressing the knees out so the knees do not do this. This is bad. Knees out is better. And then all the way down, all the way up. Hit that bottom position, come right back up again, making sure to stand all the way up straight at the top, right? Hips and knees are extended. And then ideally hitting below parallel at the bottom. And then shuttle runs. Set yourself up 10 meters ideally, which I believe is about 32 feet. And you're doing 55 reps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 55 shuttle runs. It's a lot of shuttle runs. And then if there's still time on the clock, there's still time remaining in that 13 minutes, double dumbbell push press. And like I said, this one you may or may not get to. I think that the shuttle runs will be the side effect. If you're really cranking those out, you will get to the push press. You'll have a better chance of finishing up one round. But push press, dumbbells right at the shoulders. Just try to keep those elbows pointing forward. Again, heels are about hip width apart, kind of like they were with the deadlifts. We start by loading up the legs a little bit. We just kind of drop straight down, just that little, um, not even a like a fifth of a squat. Just a little squat, making sure to not lean forward. Right, we don't want that. We just want to drop straight down a little bit. 
And then we use the legs to launch the weights off the shoulders, and we finish with the arms. So it's legs first, then arms. You're using the legs to launch the weights, and finish with the aggressive punch up towards the ceiling. Try to do it with your two dumbbells like this. If the dumbbells you have are too heavy to do that with, just use one dumbbell, right? Hold it like this, the same idea, dip drive and press. Doesn't have to be heavy, it's not supposed to be heavy. So either one or two dumbbells there. So 13 minutes of fun. And then your midline finisher that I have for you. A few different interesting movements you can do today. We have some, so I want you to do 15, 12, 9, toes to dumbbell and weighted good mornings. 15 of each, 12 of each, 9 of each. Directly followed by 21, 15, 9, weighted sit-ups and Superman's with a pause. 21 of each, 15 of each, 9 of each. So two little couplets to work both the front and the back part of the midline. Toes to dumbbell, we've done these before. We have the dumbbell on the floor. Let me adjust my camera a little bit. We have the dumbbell on the floor. And I'll hold it right here. There it is. Ideally, legs stay straight, toes stay pointed. We go up and over. And ideally, if you can, I haven't warmed up yet, so I'm not feeling too stretchy. But ideally, touching your toes to that dumbbell up overhead. Then we're going to alternate that with some weighted good mornings. Working that back side a little bit. Get one of your dumbbells, put it behind your head so it's kind of resting on the shoulders. Keep that belly nice and tight. This is kind of like a deadlift type movement where we're going center those hips back. Try to bring those shoulders to a little bit above uh, head level and right back up again. You're going to feel posterior chain involved by glutes and hamstrings. So you're going to alternate those two, 15 of each, 12 of each, 9 of each. Then we're going to go weighted sit-ups. Now for this one, as I've said many times before, if you have some way to anchor your feet, please do. Stick them underneath a, something, you know, couch or whatever, or maybe hold on to something in between your feet to keep those feet locked in. And then you're going to take your belt, whatever weight you're using, hold it at the chest, what? boom, all the way up. Try to keep that weight nice and close to the chest. It's uh, If you start kind of keeping that weight away from the chest, this makes it very not challenging. So keep that weight in nice and close. And this one, you're going to alternate with pause supermans. And this one we've done before. Again, this kind of works on posterior chain or back side. So I just want you to throw a little two second pause in at the top, right? So we're getting into a long body position. Heels together, toes pointed, arms legs extended. We arch up. We're going to hold from one, two, and down. Arch it up, hold, one, two, and down. So we're using our shoulders and hips to raise our arms and legs, and of course, we're engaging everything in between. You're going to feel this low back, squeeze your butt, all those close to your chain muscles. All right, that's enough talking. That was a long video. I apologize. It won't be this long in the future. Have a great workout, guys. Get after it. Talk to you tomorrow.